Good morning. It's September 2nd, 2008. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is today's Schmuck Look. Thank you, Sweet Charlie 63. I had already started looking into the story, and by this point I have viewed several videos. I've not really found anything of substance in the newspapers. There seems to be some sort of controversy going on about whether the new child is Sarah or Bristol's baby. Bristol being the 17-year-old daughter of Sarah. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? 16-year-old getting some. Hmm, shucks. I thought it was 2008, not 1908. Now, I've seen letters attached to those videos, text responses. I've read a lot of them. I've seen, you know, how this is a conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Sarah's taking the kid, blah, blah, blah. I've seen a couple of calls for birth certificate, which, by the way, you give a K-note address, you fly eight hours back to Alaska in a pressurized cabin, of course, <clears throat> after your water has broken, then you drive back to the little town you're from, Wasilla, instead of going to the nearest hospital, which was way better equipped. You know, birth certificates can be faked, and folks, let me be the schmuck who says it. I'm going to call and everybody should call for a DNA test. What I've seen of the photos and the videos, I'm going to tell you, the body language, the facial expression, everything. Bristol is that baby's mother. I would almost bet on it. But that's beside the point. Again, it's 2008, not 1908. Who really gives a damn? So the woman is keeping the family together. Now, it may be fraud insurance-wise, but other than that, I really can't see where it's that big a deal. Other than the fact that our vice president is starting to lie to us? Hmm. Eh, she's a politician. Of course she lies. You know, give me a break. She's a professional politician, i.e. professional liar. And what all this does, it divides us up and keeps us off the real stuff. In the BBC this morning, there was an article, and, you know, I don't know about where, the, where it was on the American newspapers. It was the lead article, or one of the lead articles. U.S. Congressman Mark Deli Siljander, S-I-L-J-A-N-D-E-R, was indicted by a grand jury, 48 counts or something like that, 42 counts, uh, he's been linked to an Al-Qaeda and a Taliban supporter, big financial supporter. This guy, he's an ex-congressman, I forget which state, Michigan or Ohio, one of them, uh, from 1981 to 1987, and he was a U.N. delegate for a year. Oh, my, the damage this guy could have done. Uh, did I mention he was and is probably still Republican? Hmm. Can you imagine? He's giving money, lobbying to give money, power, influence, to a charity that openly has been linked to Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. Now, what's wrong with this picture? Oh, that's right. We're secure. Because, oh my, whose baby is it? I'm Dwight Schmuck. That'll be today's Schmuck Look. Peace.